Hey everybody, how are you? I think we're uh, we're ready to go here. Let me just make sure that I have to always make sure that I'm I'm up and running back here. Let's see here. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Okay. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, there we are. Yep. Yep. Okay. Ready to go. Oh man, we got a ton of people ready ready to join us here on our little gathering. Uh, there's, uh, there's, of course, uh, uh, my old friend Rick Schickman, Schickman is here as usual. Jeff Stein is here. Uh, Mike Chisholm, Andrew Deutsch, and Brian Neary. And uh, now we're going to add Scott Boddicker to the group as he, uh, he joins our crowd. Hello, Scott. How are you? Are we all there? I'm there. Oh, you're there. <laughs> okay. How about Brian? Are you there? Yes. Well, say something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching girls jog by. Come on. Oh, okay. All Ooh. right. All right. Let's well forget it. Forget the rest of the show. Let's just show the girls. <laughs> I got some yeah, I got yeah. some girls jogging too. It's, oh yeah. Uh, okay. It's uh yeah, it's there's a lot of nice scenery from my office. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's your office. Well, that's at home, your home office, right? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. And my view, and then my views. <laughs> uh -huh. A lot of a lot of people walk and jog around here. Yeah. Hello, Steve Bender. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Alex? Uh, good. Let me see here. Let me admit uh, Len LaFrisco, who is uh, uh, here. Oh, God. We got, we got a nice, nice little bunch here today. How are you all? Is everybody, is everybody feeling a little cleaner now that we're in the age of uh, no trump and all biden yeah yes yeah there is a there's a certain feeling relax yeah now uh shecky shecky the uh, interesting thing happened to shecky uh shecky uh, was supposed to get his shot what uh, his uh, thursday the shot on thursday and on thursday they wrote him a note on wednesday saying we're running out tomorrow so forget it all right and then they did something which amazed me. They called you? Well, they first emailed me, and then they called me that night to say, we can't do it tomorrow. But now, they already had emailed you. It just seemed... Yeah, but I guess they were making sure I had seen the email, you know. But that's very nice. You don't expect that out of the city. No, no. Yeah. In so fact, I don't know if you noticed yet... Um, de Blasio is closing Yankee Stadium and City Field as COVID sites. Oh, good. Why? Well, he never hey, opened that's them. That's why. Huh? What I kept saying to you, it was a photo opportunity to me. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they will not be opening at the moment to give out vaccines. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? Because they don't, don't have them. <laughs> Rick, Rick, to understand this, so to have a vaccine site to give vaccines, you actually have to have vaccines to give. Is that yeah, how it works? I think that's how it works. Yeah. Okay, I just I wanted yeah. to come on clarification. I didn't quite understand. Yeah, we wanted you to make sure you knew that. Yeah, so I just, a friend I just, of mine said she got one at Kohl's today in Manhattan. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm just asking for first. Isn't Kohl's like a furniture store or something? Like that? No, it's a department store. Department store? They're not giving them out in department stores. Well, Tony got where did Tony? Oh no, he got it at a aviation high school. No, I parking. think. Parking I don't know. Lots. Yeah, they notify Alex too. They just emailed them like nineteen times. Yeah, yeah. They, I was worried. I what happened was when I went. Well, I haven't talked to you guys since I got the shot. Um, but but I got the shot um, uh, at a school, and, but before I went, they sent us a note as they did you, Shecky, saying yeah. what would happen. And one of the, a couple of things they said was you got to be there uh, no more, no earlier than five minutes beforehand because you won't be allowed in any earlier than that. That was one of their admonitions. And the other one was you're going to get an email the morning of the shot. Uh, giving you a few more questions to answer, and then you will get a QR code that you take with you or your ID for the appointment to the appointment. All right. So I'm worried. You know, I'm a big worrier. I worry, what happens if I don't get the, um, the thing, right? 
uh, I don't get the, um, let me admit some more people here. Uh, what, what if I don't get the, uh, the mail the morning before? I go into my mail, or the morning of rather, I go into my mail the morning of, there are 19 copies of the same email. They know you're worried. <laughs> Bill, they didn't Bill, knew I was worried. <laughs> Bill, no, Bill, Bill Gates wanted to make sure he could track you after you get the chips. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, uh, I mean, 19 of these damn things. Marjorie got the same thing, right, Marjorie? Yes. 19 of them. I mean, and so did Tony, I believe. I yeah. think he, he said and, the same thing. And probably the day of your shot, you'll get 19 of them too. Unless they're far behind. Shot. Yeah. But, we're five and, and, and then we go, and we're there five minutes beforehand, and there's a big line. Oh, it's huge. And it takes us two hours to get in. Oh. So why did you tell us to get there five minutes ahead of time? You know, like, we're going to rush you through. We got to get everybody rushed through. And everybody in that line, which wrapped around the corner to the next block and then wrapped around. Um, yeah. I think by the time crazy. we left, the line was three hours long. Was yeah. the line moving the whole time or was it standing? Very, still? very, very Let slowly. me put it this way. It was getting it was very cold and I decided that I had underdressed, right? So I said, Marjorie, just stay here. I, I, I keep my place in line. Uh, I've got to go get my jack. So I went a block and a half home, up the elevator, down the elevator. It took me about, what, 15 minutes, something like that? Something like that. I come back. She's moved this far. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Charlie. I can't believe Texas actually did something better than New York. Because <laughs> I got my shot on Saturday. And the yeah. line just moved continuously. You, you, I mean, it was, it was, there were thousands of people there, but. And what, when's and your second shot? Five minutes. When's your second shot? February 20th. Jeez, mm -hmm. Alex, we got, ours is 27th. February 27th. They, they said, when you go home, you fill this thing out, you know, and you, you make, you, you get a date. And the first date available was the 27th of February, which is five and a half weeks away. Uh, but we well, they didn't even tell me. They just said, "Here, yeah. your second shot will be on the twenty seventh on February twentieth." Here, yeah. But it, did they put it on a little card? It, it, yeah, I got the card. A, there's a yeah. little CDC card you get. You need that little card. Yeah, but anyway, so I, you know, uh, so but yeah, then then the CDC the, decided yeah. that you can actually be six weeks between shots. So that, you know, and I imagine it could probably be a, a seven or eight or nine. They're just saying six so that people don't go, oh, well, then Pashaw, I'll wait a couple of weeks after that. It, it was so cold that hours after, I was still defrosting. Chances were I mean, we were going to get pneumonia before we got COVID. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't live in New York. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it was, it, it, and I, I've called Shecky and I just said, this is, it's unacceptable to begin with. Who's, who, who are the prime recipients at this point? People over the age of 60. Old guys like us. And old, old guys people. like us. She waited in line. Her back is now killing her from having waited in line. Wow. Yeah, standing. You know, but they Yeah, there were no seats. Yeah. No. But you wouldn't have had time to sit because the line just kept moving. And one, wow. and one of the people who was, who was, you know, one of the workers there is walking down the line with somebody and telling them, oh, well, the line just goes, it goes all the way down there. Uh, it's a short line. And I looked at her and I went, a short <laughs> line? Are you but, kidding but me? But isn't that part line? of the fact that you had to stay six feet apart from people that yeah. in the normal time, the line would not have looked as long? It could be. Yeah. Could be. It, it, let's put it this way. For as much space as there was between people, it still took us two hours to get from the back of the line to the front of the line. Yeah, or I understand. So it doesn't minutes. matter, you know. Uh, it shouldn't have been. Uh, obviously, they space these things out, thinking, "Oh, boom, boom, boom." It's a, it's just, you know, we'll just keep the line going. But uh, yeah. like, went in Texas, but that didn't. Well, opportunity for street vendors. It could have been little Mexican kids oh, selling chiclets and. <laughs> 
Well, well you know, we did early voting. It, it was the same place where we did the early voting, and they were handing out water and sandwiches and cookies, and it was. And what so... we did after after we got the shot is we got back in the line for next year's voting. So it was. Uh... <laughs> We'll be right yeah. up front by the time that happens. If yeah. some enterprising person thought of it, they should be selling hot chocolate yeah. in the line. Yeah, right. A fortune. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's a fortune. And, and raising money for Giuliani's defense team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, it, it, it really um, uh, it amazed me how bad it was here. And then, then I have to wait five and a half weeks. And everybody's telling me, well, I, I, can, I can go back in four weeks. Uh, I talked to Will Durst today. He got his shot in the hospital, lying in bed because he's in the nursing home and trying to get over having a stroke. And um, uh, he had a, you know, um, uh, uh, a shot the other day. And they're going to give him give him his next one in four weeks, you know. Plus, he got Pfizer. What did you get, Charlie? I got Moderna. Moderna. That's what we got. We got Moderna. Yeah, and Brian, it doesn't have to be. It, it doesn't have to be exactly six weeks, does it? I don't know if they know yet. <laughs> See, that's the problem. I don't, I don't think they know yet. They don't know yet. You know. Well, in England, they're spacing them 12, uh, 12 uh, weeks apart. Because they figure if they space them 12 weeks apart, they consider that it will still be, uh, the booster will still work, but that they can then uh, administer it to more people up front. I think Brian is right. They just don't know yet. But they don't. Yeah, maybe, and they could be given a buffer too. They could say five to six weeks, knowing that, you know, if it gets worse, it's okay, but they just want to be safe. Yeah. 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 But I'm sure six weeks, I'm fine. You know, you're fine. I know. <laughs> you, know I just, you know, I just, uh, it's just the inefficiency of it. I all. rest and my today, case. Today, I turn on the TV and they're going, well, you know, Moderna doesn't know if this is good against the South African strain. Oh. And why did I take the goddamn shot? Because it was available. Yeah. The You're not time, South African. By the time I get to my second shot, they're going to go, hey, we found out this stuff doesn't work. But wait a minute. We've got a booster. <laughs> get back in line. <laughs> You know, it's, it's 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 amazing. How about how about in your area up in Canada, Mike? Are they uh, giving out the shot? Did you get your shot yet? Yeah, it's it's fairly elder. Uh, it's fairly um, uh, it's going well. Uh, my region that I live in, in my health region, there's 750 thousand people. There's about 800 active cases right now, so things are fairly, you know, streamlined. And it seems to be that the the people are having their appointments. Um, uh, they're going through with it no problem at all. It's very smooth. The only thing that we've been told now is that some of those folks have to wait an extra couple of weeks for their second shot because Pfizer is slowing down what's coming to Canada for a little while. There's yeah. a bit of a oh, bit of a I mean, oh. that way, but other than that, it's fairly smooth. <laughs> so in other words, they, they, they're I holding yeah, we're giving you guys. Jeez, they're holding it up by a couple of weeks too. So it's more like yeah. six weeks than it is. Four weeks. They they say that the the target number will be hit at the time it's supposed to be hit. It's just right now there's a bit of a a lull. I think because of Europe, but they're gonna ex put extra in shipments coming in the next few weeks well, up, to up, yeah. To and we also have Brazil uh, now. Brazil. Yeah. Up in Canada, you uh, you not only get the the shot, uh, but you get a free moose. <laughs> <laughs> And thank God, those moose are so good. Oh, yeah, my God. Take a free it's, a, it's a maple flavored lollipop. Maple you, hear the, you hear those jokes? Right. When I was a teenager and we had, I had a date coming into the house, we used to send my father upstairs because he gave those exact kind of jokes to my <laughs> tutor. <laughs> so it you know got, Mar I, I, Marjorie's date is here. We'd send them upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> what I hate being called is elderly. But I. What do you think you are? Yeah. And you never let me forget it. <laughs> you know. Uh, but. Um, uh, do you prefer prehistoric? Is that a better prehistoric word? Prehistoric would be much better. <laughs> much better. But um, I'm old enough to remember my polio shot but it wasn't yeah. a shot i i i they you got the sugar cube i got the sugar cube the sale is a uh vaccine um 
uh, and yeah. that was a that was really a godsend when that happened because you don't know the fear as a kid that I lived in and Marjorie did too. Cause she yeah, and, and in those days you couldn't go in the water in August. For some parents reason, didn't want you to go swimming bad. during the summer. I mean, it was, you know, for kids. Yeah. You don't even remember this, Rick. You're too young for that. You know? Oh no, I got the shirt cube. Yeah, but you got it a after the rest of the world, you know, had been saved. Okay, it. yeah. You, you weren't- it wasn't 52, you didn't, 51, yeah, you whatever. Didn't, you didn't yeah. live a life knowing at least one kid who was in an iron lung, okay, you know. We had kids in, in, in my second grade class that had the braces on their legs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. and I, I had a friend of mine who, who had polio as a child, and uh, I knew him later on in life, and he was still, he had the thin legs and things like that. Yes, Jeffrey, uh, put your, turn your mic on, Jeff. Take your mute off. Yeah. Okay, I'm on. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> um, I had to get injected because it was very yeah. early. Well, you, yeah, you, got I was salt you got the salt vaccine. Yeah. yeah. And, and the problem is one of the kids that we knew, which I still know this lady, mm -hmm. she's got a bad leg from that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she didn't get it on time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's, it's really... I forgot about the iron lungs. There's yeah. a very interesting story oh, yeah. that, that uh, I heard uh, the old TV host Dave Garraway tell mm. about how he was all dressed up in a tuxedo and everything, and his kid said, where are you going? And he said, oh, well, I'm going to a, uh, a testimonial dinner for Dr. Jonas Salk. <laughs> and and, and uh, the kid said, who's Dr. Jonas Salk? He said, He's the man who discovered the cure for polio. And the kid looked at him and said, what was polio? What's polio? Yeah. <laughs> and, and he said, that was a tribute to Jonas Salk, yeah. that some kid I had, my child, said, what's polio? Yeah. And we literally, we wiped out, I think, every last vestige of polio. It came back slightly. Uh, in some parts of the world, it, it has come back a little bit. But we wiped it out. You know what else we wiped out? AIDS. No, well, we have a, you no. can't die from it. There's a cocktail. That no, no, no. I mean, new people getting AIDS. It's, mm -hmm. it's been completely eradicated. Supposedly, this was a couple of months ago, they made the announcement. Unless you're Charlie Sheen. Unless you're Charlie Sheen, you know. All over the world? Yeah. There's yeah. something wrong with that announcement. It's too yeah. It could be something's wrong with that announcement, but they said yeah. that it, uh, Maybe I got it wrong. HIV, yeah. HIV is still there, because we right. we test for, we test for HIV, HCV, HPV. Mm. Yeah, we mostly in Europe. But, but full blown we, AIDS, no. Huh? Full blown AIDS, no. I mean, no, just the virus. HIV virus. Okay, yeah. because I think once you get the <clears throat> HIV virus, there are now things you can take that will just. Uh, in fact, I see these ads for these things that says it will it will make your HIV undetectable, which means you can't yeah. transmit it. Right. So I guess there's an easy fix now, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's well, not good. Polio's, polio's still around. I see guys playing it down at the field on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Ralph Lauren still sells the Mar Mar polio shirt. Mar Mar yeah, you're, yeah. Getting, you're getting a polio shot tomorrow, aren't you? Prolia. Oh, prolia. <laughs> <laughs> I have bad bone bones. So this is helps build um bone bone Dens bone density. Yeah. 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 Well, my ex had that. We don't want you to be <coughs> hunched over old crone walking That's down the street. Fear. Yeah. Do you, yes, do you feel yeah. that when you Marjorie, do you feel that when you work out? Because yeah. you work out a lot, right? Or you were before not as much as before the but were the, you feeling that? Your bones before? I've had bad bones. I've had spine surgery years ago. And I mean, I just have bad bones. So this is a shot you get twice a year and it builds up bone matter. Wow. Mm. Bone mm. density. So I want to tell you a little story about my grandfather. Mm -hmm. He worked uh, at the Brooklyn Navy Yard during World War II. Mm. 
and they had an accident and, and uh, they he got a infection mm -hmm. and the medication that we had we didn't have at that time tetanus didn't exist well wow, so, wow. Tetanus, tetanus shot didn't exist right so meanwhile his leg got bad infection and he had to saw off his leg. Uh -huh. Ooh. I Can think the proper that? term that isn't as mind-boggling is amputated. When you say sawed off, it just, <laughs> like, <laughs> Boy, it just hurts to think about that. <laughs> That's yeah. how they did it. <laughs> hey, look at Charlie. No toes, right, Charlie? That's right. Uh, is that just on one foot or both? Yeah, my left foot, no toes. I'm only missing one toe on my right foot. Oh, okay. Huh? He, yeah. He had, uh, what is it? Uh, type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes. Oh, Most really? Toes. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, well, that, that, that's your balance, right? The toes help your balance a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I fall over all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really? Well, that, that and because he's drunk. <laughs> but, you know. The no, drinking well, doesn't help. <laughs> don't they give you uh, inserts into your shoes so that you get that ex that balance? They tried, but it 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 they were too uncomfortable. So I suppose a daily run is out of the question. No, I can I can run. Really? I just stuff something soft in my shoe. I see. Yeah, you have to, your fire. body kind of adjusts to the the balance, the change. And. Did Charlie, did you lose that because it was too late in diagnosis or it was just part of the... No, I had diabetes for 13 years before my toe. All the, I just started getting infections in the toe and it went right into the bone. Oh, wow. Wow. I get a bruise on my toe on Wednesday and I was in the hospital by Saturday and they were amputating my toe on Monday. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and that happened six times. Hmm. Oh my God. And when's the last time? All this happened in 2015. I don't know what the heck was I remember 2015. When you, first, like, when you first started calling us on, on the ramble, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you were going through that, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. I remember. Wow. Yeah. And it cost, I cost me a lot of money in umpiring because I couldn't umpire practically the whole year. Oh, right. Uh, That's right. The yeah, umpires. <laughs> So, Len, what's new in your uh, your neck of the woods? Anything? Well, yeah, our governor this morning announced that he's uh, taking us off full restriction. Yeah. So, where they're going to have an outdoor dining, I think, and I'm not outdoor. sure what else. I think where outdoor, are you, outdoor hair salons also. Well, uh, I looked. East Bay really? area, San Francisco. I looked at my coronavirus uh, uh John Hopkins map, which you can see I'm bringing up in back of me here. Uh, by the way, we're almost up to 100 million people worldwide. Yeah. Congratulations. We did, well. we did it. So much. <laughs> we passed 25 million here, here in the US. US. I was looking at this and we've had uh, like 420,000 deaths, which is, you know, it's obscene yeah. that we should have, it should have even come to that. But I looked at this and I went, wow, you guys are really got a problem out in Texas and yep. in, uh, in California. We've yep. had in New York so far 42,526 deaths. Okay. We got a good head start on you. So uh, don't think we're the champs. Uh, <laughs> we, we got a good head start on you because, you know, we didn't know how to handle it back then. This was just something that came and attacked us. And then we had to figure it out on our own. So 42,526, but California is at 30, almost 30, uh, 37,295,000. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, and, 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 and Texas is at three, uh, 34,935. So you're wow. all closing what? in on New York. New York yep. may become number three sooner or later. You know? I heard Arizona's up there too. What's really odd is that the way we come out of restrictions is how many ICU beds they have. Yeah. And the last three weeks, we've been down in the three and four percent range, and all of a sudden we're at twenty-three percent this week. 
Jesus. something seems something seems a little odd. Either they all died or somebody didn't count right. Because yeah. for it to go up that much in one week, it seems like a lot. Well, it went up or it went down? I'm the, well, it went up to 23% in vacancy okay. in the ICUs. Yeah. From three percent. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I, how does that happen? If that, that's what I'd like to know. People died. <laughs> it people died. People died but you, you know, you've got people behind you because they've they've got this all these infections. I mean, right. In uh, uh, not not every infection ends up in ICU, but no. Yeah. It seems like it would be a good sign that either people, well, either they passed away or they went, they got out of the ICU, well, they know, got better. I said it about three months ago to my wife, and I said, you know. The, the turning point is going to be election day. You watch right after election day, all of a sudden, things are going to start opening up. And that's exactly what's happened. Why do you think that is? Why, why, why I, you think I, I, honestly, I think it's just a timing issue that Christmas was three weeks ago. Well, yeah. And this, we're this over the cycle. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, that just Dude, felt right. Yeah. I saw a post today that made me laugh. Someone mm -hmm. said Biden's been in office for less than a week and more than 4,000 people are dying every day. Yeah, I wrote back and said you weren't you weren't that concerned about him before he was in office. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's uh, um, you know, I mean, Shaki, you haven't. Well, you, I was going to say you haven't been out much. You stayed. No, I haven't in your left house. the house in over two weeks. Yeah, but <laughs> then again, that's not unusual for you. No, it's not <laughs> unusual. Um, uh, it's the you know, that morning. Oh, I'm going to go to Costco. I don't really need anything. And then tomorrow when El Blizzardo comes, I'll all of a sudden like, oh, I've got to go to Costco. Yeah. It's yeah. Snowing. Well, I order all my stuff from Instacart. And uh, well, I don't have Instacart here because, you know, I'm in the suburbs. No, you. if you go to Instacart, they probably have, uh, they'll go to your. Well, if, you go, if you go to Instacart, they'll give you all the stores that are near you. And yeah, but they, they, they don't deliver. Yes, yeah, they because, do. Well, we, we, we shop at, uh, we have Costco, right? I get stuff from. However, yeah, my Costco order, is 10, you, 10, 15 miles away, so they're not going to deliver from you. If you order Instacart, they, they, die or, they do it you, for us. Yeah, but if you yeah. order from Instacart at Costco, you don't get the Costco points towards money right. towards the end of the year when you get or the five percent back or whatever they give yeah, you yeah you don't get that and i can't understand why unless they're maybe paying instacart something up in canada you got the route you got the option to use uh your membership or theirs and if you use your membership it'll go towards your uh percentage you guys don't have that down there well they use my they use my membership card to be able to to get out but you, you didn't get any of the points from you the should be delivery. getting your points then we did. Well, at least we do up here anyway. If it's if if you're a non-member, you won't get any bonuses. But of I course. don't think if you're a non-member here, you can use Instacart to go to college. Oh, uh, okay. So it's different. You have up here to then. give them okay. your card number so they have. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. But uh I haven't been to Costco in almost a year. In almost a year. Uh, well, I told you I have to go this week because my housekeeper needs um Tide laundry detergent. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know what I do with uh, is I just order. The only trouble with ordering through Instacart is I think that if I went down there, stuff that they say they don't have, they would have. Well, that's I'd true, and that's it. happened a lot with Fairway. Yeah, so you can shop at Fairway. You can shop. Well, there's several other markets you can. Oh, it's a whole. It's it's a, about a dozen of them just up in our little zip yeah. code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really, it, you know, I mean, I found it's been pretty good for us. I mean, it was very important in the very beginning of the crisis and still is because I don't know that I want to go to Costco, you know. Um, how many of you are double masking now? That's the new thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's I like, don't go anywhere. You know, it's like, the, yeah, I don't leave the house. Well, it reminds, me of my, it reminds me of my old days uh, with sex when I used to wear two condoms in case oh. one fell off. But <laughs> Thank you. You know, uh, is that like the old Rodney Dangerfield joke where he put two bags on her head in case one breaks? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's all the same joke. 
they're actually <laughs> only about 12 jokes in the whole world and they just yeah. repeat it in various yeah. forms. Yeah. And they're all Bernie Sanders now. Oh like, God, that's the funniest thing ever. Yeah. Did you see them with the gloves that went all over the internet? <laughs> oh yeah. You know, yeah I can't you know, stand I, them, I, but enough with these pictures. But I'm, I'm, I was bothered by that. I just, I felt it was, it was age shaming. You know, like it was funny because he was an old guy wearing gloves. Yeah. If it were a young guy wearing the same gloves, the same scarf, and the same hat, they wouldn't have even put the picture anyway. But also because no one was sitting near him, I guess. I right. guess it's just, yeah. just that. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, you know, nobody was sitting near him. It was like Chris anybody. Christie on a couple of years ago. The, the, the same kind the, of theme. The, the tone yeah. of it is pretty affectionate, though, don't you think? The people that are doing it, I think, like Bernie. I mean, you know, they 100%. Don't there's yeah, yeah. Well, young people. Yeah. Being, young they're people being love funny. Bernie. They think they're being funny. There, there's both. I saw some that were pretty offensive by right wingers. Really? Bernie on a gurney. Oh, 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 oh flow at wishful yeah. thinking. Oh boy. I read a crazy. Yeah. I read a crazy rant against Bernie and the way he was dressed at the inauguration, saying that it was white privilege for him to show up dressed like that, which I thought was insane. Why? Because he had mittens. Yeah, look, Charlie has a look on his face like, what? Yeah, what yeah, they, the were, they were saying that if a black person came dressed like that, they'd be escorted out. Yeah. I think Bernie would dress like that to his own inauguration if he would. Yeah. Who's, the, who's the racist? The one who said it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, he's from New Hampshire. That's the way they dress up there because it's freezing. Oh, from, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like Russian trolls to me. Yeah. They've, got, they've got this one where he's, he's looking at his camera and he says, what the heck? I've never been to any of these places. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he made a bunch of t-shirts from it. His team did. Yeah. They sold them and raised money. Oh, for a, really? Yeah, for <laughs> a the yeah. bobblehead museum has got pre-order. They made a bobblehead of it. Wow. <laughs> but, and it, it's sit it's sitwithbernie.com or something like that. Yeah, you sit with Bernie. Like that. Yeah, and you go on their website and you you download your picture and then they give you the little thing and you can move it and size it wherever you want. That's why it's been blowing up so much. <laughs> or you can type in you, you can type in any address, you can put them outside your building, you know. There's a there's a filter on Snapchat or something like that. My wife uh said to me the other day, <laughs> yeah, she took a picture of me and said, Here you go, Mike. So I think he should put the gloves on eBay and raise money for Trump's defense defense fund, just to be ironic. This is funny. It's hilarious. It really. I is. swore I wasn't gonna put another one up, and then then I saw the David Letterman one. I thought that was the most clever one, so I put that up. And then I said I wasn't gonna do any more. And then someone put him in the Big Lebowski, in between yeah. Walter and the dude. And I was just, oh, I had to post that one. So clever points for anybody who can make me do another. Wait, one. what are we seeing here? That's that's our family out in Campbell uh, on the last week Saturday night. <laughs> And I put him in there, and my friends didn't even notice he was in there because he played yeah. it so well. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what, why why people found that so funny. Is it, <laughs> I, it is affectionate. I know a lot yeah. of uh, young. My our youngest is twenty three years old, and he and all of his friends all think Bernie Sanders is a hero. This is up here in Canada. Like I mean, they all love him. There so the memes are definitely affectionate. Did you see the Bernie Gummy? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good that his his first name nobody knows his last name. They did. Yeah, no, Bernie. <laughs> this is Bernie. Just yeah. Bernie. Good old Bernie. The other the other one that was good was this Slovenian divorce dress. It's <laughs> <laughs> a that. traditional native wear. <laughs> Slovenian divorce dress. <laughs> didn't didn't uh, Bill Maher have a line or something like that that she went in there like she she went in Air Force One like she's going to a funeral and then oh, she yeah. came out she came out something yeah he said something she came out in like Mumu yeah Mumu yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um uh, here's another good one <laughs> <laughs> See? every time I think I'm out. I get pulled back in because it's like that. <laughs> it's another one, another one. Oh, geez. Oh, no, but I think if he put those, if he put those mittens on eBay to raise money for a good charity, it would be. They had, yeah. They started a, a a cause. Yeah, they did for... the t-shirt thing, but I think the actual mittens get. Well, they are. They're doing the, it with the woman the who made them said she was making a few for for charity, you know, because there's mm -hmm. been such a demand. On, on one of the knitting 
groups that I that I see on Facebook, the pattern was out within hours. Someone had had drawn the pattern for how to make them. <laughs> the knitting group. What are you doing on a knitting group? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Yeah. What are you doing on a knitting group? Knitting. <laughs> what? <laughs> knitting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we all have our hobbies yeah i lost the use of my hand in a motorcycle accident in the late 80s and that was how i rehabbed my hand really? oh, absolutely knitting? really i've been oh. i've been knitting for what 30 years learning a lot I, your your hand his toes man oh man i know <laughs> we're finding except i still have my hand <laughs> sorry charlie <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I could use a big neck scarf. Yeah, I, I'll teach you. I suddenly realized <laughs> it's been what, what is it, checking? Maybe a year in February that I had my prostate seeds implanted, or was it in March? January, February. Oh, there. it was in January. Yeah. Your no. last appointment, I think, was March, right before everything shut down. Right yeah. before March, it was I'm like a week before I, that I got the seeds installed. Because that's when I had the colonoscopy and endoscopy, like two days before yeah. everything shut down. Okay, so about a week before. And you were in the hospital the same day, a different hospital. Oh, okay. So, so it was March that it happened. Well, that's when you had, I think, your final appointment. Well, I had no, I had, I had the radiation, and then I had the seeds implanted. Yeah, and then. Well, I know you had an appointment the same day. I mean, that's so all been, I can it's remember. Been I don't 10 know what. And, and, and now there are flowers growing out of my ass. So. <laughs> <laughs> how often? Do you have to, how often do you have to prune it? Uh, I, I <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Can I ask your advice and opinion or advice since since we're talking about medical stuff. So I have a cataract surgery, you know, in, in a week or two. And well, I, I know, it's, I know, it's yeah, cataract right there. My grandfather used to drive a cataract. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Rick, 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 well, I had. Uh, I had what's your question? I had uh, cataract surgery in both my eyes. Yeah, so you, had, you had it, didn't you, Shecky? I did too. No, I had um, LASIK. You had LASIK. I'm doing the second eye, but my question is: Should I be? I worry like you do. You know. It means three doctor's appointments. It means the pre-doc, a doctor, my you know, general doctor appointment, get the paperwork, get some tests, go to get the surgery, go to the follow-up. Three different doctor's offices in a week. With Actually, four places, because you're going to have to get a COVID test. Well, that's how I'll do that. The doctor will do that. Well, my doctor, my doctor did, um, did all of it. You did the, right. What happens is you go in, they, they do this. It, it really, there's no pain, you know. And they just uh, remove a lens and put a new lens. Yeah, yeah, no, I know that. My question is just. Is and then wait a minute. And then you go home with a with a, a little bucket on your face, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, then uh, the next day you go back in and he checks it out and uh, um, says, "Come back, see me a month or something like that." No, my question is, since it's not urgent and it's elective, am I crazy? To go out to three doctors in the midst of well, the, the only the only question would be how much it's impacting your vision. Yeah, it's not getting much worse. I mean, it's you know, not great. I mean, I wait. is it a little blurriness right in the center of your eye or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I noticed it. The way the doctor looked yeah. at it was if it was ripe or not. Yeah, they use the term. Is it ripe? Right. Yeah. 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 I guess I We're watching it maybe another year, but it's it's not ripe yet. We no, both had I didn't realize problems. how bad it was until I had the surgery and it went away. Right. Yeah. And well, I said, God, how could I have seen? For a while, it, it actually improved my vision. My reading. It gives it 20 20 vision. No, it doesn't. It's not We're, done for that reason, but it, it, it does improve your vision. Yeah. That's I no, stopped I wanna, wearing I want distance to do it. I, just don't, I, I want to do it. I just don't want to go to three doctor's offices in the yeah. midst of this pandemic. But believe me, it is. it, it used to be, you know, in the, it, this, this is how medicine, we were talking about medicine, how it got better and better and better. Uh, years ago, if you got a cataract, you went in for cataract surgery, they did the surgery, and then you had to sleep on a block, your neck in a block every night. With sandbags. Like, keep like, head what? Yeah. With sandbags to keep your head in place. You couldn't move. Yeah. For like a month or something like that. Maybe more. Yeah, it was now, horrible. It's just yeah. they do it. You go, they put the little bucket on your eye, you go back the next day, they look at it and they go, just keep using the drops until the drops run out and come see me in another month, just so I can make sure everything's okay. It's the simplest process ever. Uh, my doctor that we go to, it was almost like he was he had a factory assembly line going. 
he had like 20 people there that day that he was just a yeah. boom, 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 you know. Those are some of the wealthiest, wealthiest doctors or guys that do cataracts like that in the machine. Really? Yeah, because they do so many of them. Yeah, and they probably have probably pretty good price they charge for it too. Yeah, and they're again, they're, I'm, you know, I'm not talking about the surgery. I'm talking about am I at risk going to three medical facilities? Just yeah, going out there. About, yeah, no, I had to have yeah. the bags in my eyes done. Although I'm I'm now using cream every night, and my eyes aren't hurting me as much. Steve, I don't think it's going to be bad. I'm, I'm having a procedure tomorrow where I have to go first for the COVID shot, then the procedure. But I was supposed to go get the Just bags done. Mask up. And, and I didn't do it because I didn't, I saw the numbers going up and I really okay. didn't want to go into something called a hospital at that point. And I wouldn't want to go into a hospital right now. You know, it's the last place I want to be. Uh, so if it, if it can wait, then... You, you don't have to do it, yeah, that's what I'm but, it but if it's like impacting your vision and you know mine one of mine was right in the middle and i it was just blurry in the middle of my field of view yeah. and i had to have it done but and the other one was just getting ripe so he did that one i think i'll just do it get it over with you know? yeah uh but yeah i understand your your feeling about going back over and over and over again you know I, I, I didn't know you had a dog, Andrew. Have you had the dog on before? Yeah, he's been on. That's oh. Boris. Boris the terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so terrorist. That's my little one. My big guy passed away. Oh. Uh. He's he's here. Yeah. The other dog, did he die of COVID? Uh. Oh, God. His, I cast his ashes in the glass in my studio. Really? Uh. He, he, he keeps me busy. Keeps me a company on my desk. Uh, I wonder, do animals get COVID? Yes. Yeah, there yeah. was. Yeah, there were some cases. Uh, Boris is actually the cause. He invented it. Y'all <laughs> thought it was a bat. It was him. <laughs> <laughs> Working with Natasha, right? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, 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 you know, I was just wondering if animals got it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Can they spread it? Yeah, they, they had to kill like a million minks. All the minks at a mink, these mink farms in Europe. Norway, I think, or Sweden, or one of the- Denmark, uh, something, I don't know. Province where I'm from as well, in Canada. Really? Yeah. Ah, son of a bitch. Uh, and, and it's funny, when it hit the news, there was a whole bunch of uh, folk who were brought, it brought to attention that there's a mink farm, and they were not happy. There were a lot of protests Ooh. and things like that. Really? Really? Well. Uh, and, but they were mad because they had to kill them. Yeah, they probably riled up the PETA people to find out there were mink farms in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're working on a new project. All those plant-based meats have been so popular. We're making meat place meat-based plants now. You can get celery made out of chicken and <laughs> broccoli made out of pork. It's gonna be good stuff. <laughs> oh man, I want a meat rose. That sounds amazing. <laughs> You haven't lived till you've you've had some pheasant lettuce. <laughs> so, if, if you, like Scott, you're in uh, you're in Plano, Texas, which, by the way, correct me if I'm wrong on this, is the home of what? Anybody know what it's the home of? Lance Armstrong. No. Yes, it is. Yes, oh, it is. <laughs> Lance Armstrong. Yeah, that's where he came from. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, well, then I guess I don't need to have you answer the other question. Then. Snapple. Which was? Snapple. 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 Oh, yeah. It's Rito Lay. It's still the headquarters for Snapple, isn't it? I think so. Maybe. I don't know. You uh, live in Snapple, Plano. Snapple was bought by Dr. Pepper. Part of as soon as they got popular, they got, they got bought up. Dr. Pepper Snapple. Yeah. Company. yeah, but I think they still are in Plano, Texas. Wait, they make that stuff all over the country. I have a bottle of what am I, uh, Google. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Co it's co-packed in about twenty here different we, locations here, here around the country. Go. Uh, let me see here, but they, but they usually have them where the company is located. Um, you know where Arizona iced tea is located? Here we go. Ready? <laughs> New Jersey. Produced <laughs> under authority of Apple Beverage Corporation, fifty-three hundred one Legacy Drive. Where is that, Scott? Lano, Texas. Lano, almost Texas. to Frisco. 75024. Hmm. So it is still officially the official home of, of Snapple. 
Wasn't there a conspiracy theory about Snapple? What conspiracy theory? Yeah, didn't they have like a little symbol? Didn't they used to have like kosher. a little K or something like that? And people had a kosher. That's yeah. is that what it was? That stands for kosher. That means that a rabbi just got paid <laughs> seven hundred thousand dollars to go. Oh, <laughs> it's not so it's important. important. You, cannot, you don't have to go to a rabbi to find this out. I know. It's been blessed. Snapple is he is a rabbi? Okay. He just goes and pees in the battle a right. bit. Mike's right, though. There was there was some big story that the, that K meant something else, and the, the rumor was that they were owned by the Moonies. I mean, my question is, oh, that's oh, what it was. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Jackie, this mouse, kosher, not kosher. <laughs> well, can you eat it? No. Then it doesn't matter. Well, this is you know, there's nothing in here. What is what? Are they, oh, they oh, this is bacon flavored Snapple. Excuse oh, me. Bacon flavored. <laughs> they had the rabbi pee in the vat. <laughs> <laughs> so my grandfather used to say when we would go out for ribs it's now, okay. the this. rabbi the rabbi peed on the pig before Jackie, they it. tell him about the rebbe tell him about the rebbe oh well last i think it was last monday yeah the grand rebbe's grandson had a wedding with seven thousand of those people jesus <sighs> out in brooklyn Jewish, right? so i can say it that way was it in brooklyn in brooklyn in, in williamsburg Bro seven thousand people not wearing masks not singing working. and dancing. Singing and, and dancing and spitting and coughing and spreading. I mean, people are insane. No Was it a buffet? <laughs> I don't know, but I still, I, I said oh. this to Alex yesterday on the phone. What is a Grand Rebbe? There seem to be a <laughs> lot of them in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. I guess when you get to be 80 years old, I guess Alex is a Grand Rebbe because he's 81. <laughs> Do they call them Rebbe or is it Rabbi? No, they call them Grand Rebbies. The Hasidic say Rebbe. Yeah. Oh, I, think the sect, I think each sect has a Grand well, most, Rebbe. Most yeah. weddings have a theme. That one's theme is thinning the herd. Yeah. Well. <laughs> you know, and then at night, you know, being, and then, you know, the grandson and the wife go back and have sex between a white sheet. You know, great. <laughs> yeah. It's like making, having sex with a member of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> Oh. But where did he find seven thousand people to go to this fellow's wedding? You know. Yeah. It was, yeah this, this... Well, how about the Hasidic group in in um, Westchester, Alex? Remember, they were getting the shots and selling them, uh, giving them illegally to their people. What, what, the governor what, closed the one up in, and um, not took Yonkers. back the shots. What? The one that was the first big spreader last March. That that neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, they somehow they got they they got a they laid their hands on the illegally on, on the on the vaccine. They had like a keg party of yeah. vaccine. And yeah. they started giving it out, and then the governor found out about it and fined them like ten thousand dollars or something, and they had to quit doing it. They had to take the no shot. No second shot stuff. for you. <laughs> yeah. You know, and again, I as I joke, I'm Jewish, but I can't stand these people. Oh, I can't either. I can't, I can't either. Yeah, but I can't say it too loud because they're my my landlords. You know? Ben loves well, it. your landlord probably at the wedding. <laughs> no, actually, I think they they are um, a sort of Jews, but they're not. They're not. I think they're not part of that clan. They don't go. They don't come over here wearing the. Uh, what's oh, this is the where their main yeah. their main buildings are in Brooklyn. The yeah, but they, but they, well, I've seen Brooklyn. them. We've seen them in court. They don't wear the the you know the pass and the whole thing and all of that. They just wear the yarmulke. And then they're mm -hmm. Orthodox. They're not Hasidic. They're ortho uh, Orthodox. Yeah. yeah so so different. pardon you know, pardon really my well. ignorance, and I'm nothing if not ignorant. Are we talking about the hat and yeah. the and the ringlets and things yeah, like that? Yeah, that's yeah. that's Orthodox, right? That's no, it's that's that's Hasidic. Hasidic. It's no, they're um Bukharin, if I remember correctly. What? I mean, they are Orthodox. Where the, those weird, but weird felt hats. Yeah. yeah. Which what? costs like about ten thousand dollars. That kill so many of them for for those hats. But isn't there, there are, are there some that are like there high are and they're like uh, it's like they're wearing like a, a it's like a, a feather. Cake. I forget what animal. It's like a big felt hat with fur and I don't with, know with, yeah. with feathers. No, and they're you're mixing that up with like Indian. One of those countries there. What? They're like Russian Jews. 
you know, the Bukharin sect. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Watch, uh, watch on. Are these the ones? Are these the ones? Now, we, we went to a funeral for a friend of ours out in, where was it? Out in Queens? Yeah. And as you go into the cemetery, there is an area where I think Orthodox Jews bury their people and they have these life size. It's not even photographs. They like engrave their That's photographs. Russian, Alex. That's Russian. Really? She said, Natalia said, all over Russia, that's what the tombstones look like. They're all it black. Is, and it they is have that photograph. scary. It is yeah. ghoulish. It's, it's like, Russian. how do I describe it? It was like they had engraved the face of the person on the tombstone. When they were younger. <laughs> oh, way younger. Uh, you got to look good, right? Yeah. Do, do you know what I'm talking about, Jeff? Have you seen these things? No, oh, I know. Well, go, go to a Jewish cemetery and go out to the area where they got all the Russians buried. And it's just, it's scary. That's a Russian thing that Talia told me. She said it's all over Russia. Hmm. Really? Well, you can do that for your mother, Alex, if you ever get her a tombstone. Yeah, if I ever get my mother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm speaking of younger, Alex. You had right? to bring that up. Oh, uh, <laughs> It's the one thing in my go life go I, go feel, I feel guilty. Take care of your mother? Uh, I feel guilty about it. I mean, how much does it cost for a tombstone? How much is They're it? expensive, I think. They, it depends. It's like a coffin. They've got you, you know. Yeah. Well, they don't have you. They don't have oh, me. Oh, you don't want to bury your mother <laughs> in a $20,000 coffin? How dare you? Oh, please. No, I, I, bar I, I buried my father and my mother in uh, a uh, Orthodox coffin, uh, uh, just which was just made out of wood. What, that's what I'm saying. A pine box. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what else. Jack was buried in, Alex. Yeah, yeah. It, that used to be my family's business. What? Really? My my great grandfather owned the first full service Jewish funeral home in the Midwest. Wow. Back yeah. in the eighteen early mid eighteen hundreds, here in Cleveland. Well, wow. I you know I, I all I know is that when the, my father died, I remember them taking like me into a room and showing me all these coffins, mm -hmm. and they said. The price of the funeral is the price of the coffin. So whatever the coffin costs, that was the price of the whole funeral and the whole embalming and the whole thing, right? Bundle. And and they're showing me around and they showed me one and they said, and this one, uh, if there was a nuclear holocaust <laughs> and the entire planet <laughs> blew up, this thing would be the only thing left floating in space. I mean, literally, we're describing <laughs> things. To me. Don't say Holocaust. Did you? So you tried to buy the cigar box on his desk? Well, no. What, what, <laughs> what kept going through my head was what my father told me while he was alive. He said, "When I'm when I'm dead, bury me in a paint, plain pine box." He said, and. By the way, you don't have to put any linen inside there or satin or whatever. He said, I'm not going to know the difference. <laughs> and I knew, and, and, and while my father was a joker, he wasn't really joking about that. No, he was serious. You know, I mean, the last thing that you should have to burden your family with are expensive funeral arrangements. You know, or you bury them in a suit and tie. Frankly, I don't want to go to eternity yeah. in a suit and tie. Well, you know, I mean, just uh, just uh, leave, just throw some good porn in there, and I'll be okay. Uh, <laughs> it, it'll take care of me for eternity. Uh, Bam wants to die. Well, of course, no, Marjorie. Marjorie plans on cremating me. Well, I'm going to be cremated. Well, no, if you, you go first, uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to bury you just to piss you off. <laughs> Fine, you'll have to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> That'll stop them. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we'll put, a, we'll put you in a pine box, Marjorie. <laughs> just, just split it, do half and half. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Since I think Shecky will outlive me. I hope Shecky outlives me. Okay. <laughs> He's working on it. To cremate me, stop her. Okay. That's your do <laughs> that's your job. Okay. So <laughs> Who's that who just came in the back door there, uh, Brian? Adrian. Adrian. Oh, the little one. Uh, oh. yeah. She got in trouble, so she was apologizing. She got in trouble for what? What did she do? Because she has a, her red, they have a, a group that'll come in back after lunch mm -hmm. uh, for school, and hers is on Monday. And when I went in there to check up on her, the teacher was calling on her and she wasn't paying attention because she had her other iPad next to her. 
So multitasking. Oh. And of course, right when I walked in, it's turned off because you know, right when she heard my the door open, she turned it off quick. So we've been there. So <laughs> <laughs> ain't easy oh, being a father. Now, do you have any other yeah. children? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maria, yeah. Tiffany has the two. Yeah. Tiffany has the two, but how about you? Oh no, no, no. Only one. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So only one. I was 48 had her. 47, 48, something like that. How did so that impact? Uh, your life did change, didn't it? Yeah, but I'm getting old now. So I listen to a bunch of old guys at night. So, you know. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah yeah but you know before i used to party 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 so now i still have my cars and a few other hobbies but it's good now it, get, it keeps me young with sports and stuff with the kids so well, somebody good. said i've never had any kids but somebody says you have a kid and all of a sudden your life changes because something's more important than you are yeah it's supposed to be, yeah yes, yes that, 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 you say that's the way it's supposed to go and you <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Uh, but and, but now she's at a good age. So when I go to car shows and stuff like that, like, like the local ones, she wants to go with me. So she'll hop in the car with me. So it's it's fun now. When it was when she was younger, it was harder because yeah, I don't want to leave when you know. At what age do they start becoming fun? About four, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because then the, the just... women like them when they're like baby babies. That's yeah. why they keep having more and more because when they get to be four and five years old, then they see another baby at the mall or somewhere. They go, "Oh, so cute!" Uh, <laughs> and they want to have another. And I said, "No, no, no, we're not doing that game. We have." <laughs> that. What I've heard is there's a certain jealousy that fathers have when they first have their child, because the mother is paying all the attention to the child and not yep. the husband. Uh huh. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> He's on her phone all the time. I take it's care of all the kids. I do the help with homework and school. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. So, but I mean, it's also that age-old. You know, uh, you ask a you ask a mother if if their child and their husband were both in danger at the same time, and they could only save one, the mother would save the child in a heartbeat. Well, if you ask the man if the child and the mother were in danger, who would you save? And they'd go and save the mother in the heartbeat because the logic is that. They could always have more kids, right? Yeah. Oh God. So the correct oh. answer that isn't, isn't the dog. Mark. Well, Mike? I just I just heard that there a lot of times there's jealousy on the part of husbands because they don't really feel when a kid is born, it has no need for the father at all. You know, it needs the nipple, it needs yeah. the the you know whatever a mother gives, and so it's really all on the mother, and and the father kind of feels yeah. like held off but as the child gets older as as adrian is and she starts to become kind of a sentient being that you can talk to that all changes and now she can become daddy's girl yeah but yep. she yeah yeah wait, yeah, wait I, I till agree, she but, starts but she always, fading she, right oh, wait till she starts oh boy. fading i'll be dead i hope i <laughs> the, the thing though is with with like with her number one is mom you know and I can play games with her and I can do all that stuff. And, you know, she'll wake up and she'll look at me and, you know, wake up from her bed and I'm seeing she's okay. And then she'll look and she says, where's mommy? You know, and it's like, what the <laughs> hell? So they always want, they always love mommy. But Tiffany knows that I love Adrian more than her. So. Well, was it my old, <laughs> my, my friend David Feldman, who I don't talk to anymore, but was at one time a very funny guy, uh, said, uh, said to me, <laughs> Um, he, he said, uh, um, my daughter, I says, uh, when, when she brings home her first boyfriend, when she's 35, <laughs> I'm going to sit him down and have a talk with him and tell him, listen, you be a gentleman. If she puts out, you buy her dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, listen, this, I love this show. I look forward to this show every week. I just, you know. I, I, why do I need another show beside the ones I already do? Well, because this is a good reason why, you know, <laughs> just it's a, a great, nice great. bunch of people. We, I think we said the T word once this, this hour and that was mm -hmm. about it. And maybe the B word once. And, yeah. uh, uh, what's the B word? Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Not Bernie. 
<laughs> Bernie. Well, Bernie's <laughs> there. We mentioned the other B word a lot today. Yeah. I thought it wasn't this popular when there it was voting for him. <laughs> Make me some Bernie mittens, Andrew, just so I can have them. And okay, he could have won the election had he had the Bernie mittens six months ago or Bernie whatever. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'm in the middle. I'm in yeah. the middle of a big sweater, but afterwards I'll I'll see what I got. <laughs> thanks, thanks to all of you. I really appreciate Jeffrey and Mike and Rick and uh, Steve and Andrew and Brian and. Scott Boniker and Len Frisco and um, this woman I'm ostensibly married to. <laughs> and your you? point is? Who every day that her hair is getting gray, it's going to look more like my mother. And uh, <laughs> oh, Charlie Wallace, thank you all. Uh, goodbye, everybody. And uh, we Thanks, sign Charles. off uh, in a kind of interesting way. We just hang up on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> See you all later. Uh, Bye. Okay. Bye.